Good day, guys. It's the potty. <laughs> God, thank you. Seriously, when you start it like that, what do you mean? Hello, everyone. Beat Saber players, it's us, OCE hey. staff. Episode zero of the Oceania podcast. Um, yeah, I thought, hey. There's a lot of OC history that's being lost to time. Let's get some boomers in a call and talk about it. Um, My dude. Least notable person here, Random Kenny, one of the what? first rank one Australians and rank one in the world at one point. Yes, and, technically. Yeah. <laughs> um, oh, oh, fuck. Where do Love we start? Where do we start? Uh, maybe the server creation. Yeah. Cause that's where like we all have to we all have to find each other at some point mm-hmm. and uh, the discord the... was how we did it times back were the roots of the oce and what it is become i guess mm-hmm. so oh, it was yeah. it was the first rank one australia i see uh crafted the server so shout out to i see wherever he she they is um, an enigma to time. Yeah, still don't know. We still don't pops know. up on and random occasions, it, and then yeah. re disappears back to time. Mm-hmm. Um, and then Kenny had it. So you were one of the first people to yeah. join the OC server. Oh yeah, I found the server from. So I, I found out about the score saber thing because it was like super early days. And Icy was on there, and I saw Icy had the Australian tag, so clicked on Icy's name, took me to Icy's Steam profile, and there was the Discord link in Icy's profile, and that's how I found it. And there was, like, no one in it. <laughs> that was a good time. Um, yeah, and then uh, it was also co-founded by Yoshi, that's right. So... Mr. Yoshi from Great Britain. Uh, Yoshi, well known in almost every community, I would say. Yeah, because he was one of the the boomers who was ahead of his time. Um, He was like on it, community building. He built the the British server. And then he was like, well, I want to build the Australian server with an Aussie. So Yoshi went down the leaderboard, invited people like Marv, um, I think Pink Armadillo and myself because we were so back then uh 20 september 2019 so 2018 was when i got invited at the top aussies where it was random kenny uh well not in this order it was it was icy stabix kenny pink me oh no wait pink might have been below me because pink was like zuma challenge player um yeah it was it was marv above me and you then you uh, and then me and then pink so we all joined and then i don't know did i invite you danny how did you join because you would have been next so i was early ish 2019 i believe i got this random bean zoop dude coming into my (laughs) dm being like hey uh, sounds dodgy no no it was on discord actually okay so I managed to find my way to BSMG, as uh, most people did. And then I think Bean was smart enough to look up the score saber name in BSMG and probably found me that way. Did I send that um, message that I sent to like hundreds of people? The like yeah, the big the, one, the same big message let's, that you probably. Let's go, dude. I was probably one of the first people to receive it. And yeah. Then, what is been. what was the message? Do you can you find that? The exact wording uh, that you sent out. I can't probably remember it. Because you sent out dozens, if not hundreds, oh, of people. Easily hundreds. Invites. Yeah. I, was I, I remember, grind. like, even still late into, like, 2021, like, people are coming in and talking about the message they received from Peter. <laughs> Let's go, dude. we got to bring people <laughs> it's together. still the same. I mean, it, yeah. it's a good it's good message, but, like... No, I did change it in... Recycling like, content. Yeah, I changed it in 2021 because it was a bit wish-washy. And the server mm. changed quite a bit um, from the creation of that message to when I was still sending it. And I was like, "Hang on a minute, let's just uh, let's just say, hey mate, is the Aussie community?" And then I think I like changed it to something way more brief. <laughs> um, yeah, and that's yeah, what it was a fairly, 
Yeah, and then so you would have joined around the same time as a Tamakir. Yeah, yeah, I, I think around mid twenty nineteen. Yeah. Yeah. Got a weird message in my DMs and I was like, oh no, who's this friend? <laughs> <laughs> I might check out the server, I might leave. We'll see. Slap yeah. left though. And then you came to my yeah. freaking house. What the fuck? <laughs> you were so dodgy. I think that was like two weeks after like we first started. Yeah, you joined and then it was like, yo, I'm having a meetup and you were just like, Oh shit. Can yeah. I come? I got an anime picture and I was like, Yeah, bro, come come chill. Wait, uh, yeah, we both got RMIT, that's crazy. What? No way. Yeah. No way. What about uh, Ludacris up there in the top? <laughs> uh, for me, I think it was in like early 2020 somewhere. I was just like a you know a three star, four star ranked player, and at the time I was uh, number 69 in Australia, and oh. I made some stupid comment in a Twitch chat saying, "Oh, that's a nice play." You know, I'm I'm allowed to say that given I'm number 69 in Australia. <laughs> I and feel like I, had, I remember that. Yeah, I had a different Twitch nice. name at the time, and Bean sent me saying, "Oh, is this you?" Linking to my Linking to my school. Oh wait, I while. invited you. Oh shit. yeah. So yeah, you, you invited me through Twitch chat. Nice. So and then yeah. I remember doing that to a few too people. many people to remember yeah. who you've invited at this point. Oh yeah. So, like yeah. I remember inviting Crimson through Twitch chat because his he had AU in his name and he was talking about Beat Saber and I was like, Yo, you Aussie? Like DM me. Like yo, like I've got these scores. Like how are you in Australia? I want to know who's like who's like the best. Um, and he was still getting up there. Man, I feel I feel like I'm missing out that I was the only one not invited by Bean. Mm. Uh, I mean, we can just kick you out and you can get yeah, re-invited. True. true. Yeah. Bean, Bean's probably got the I message. Know I bunch of weirdos in there. <laughs> There's a bunch of weirdos in there. I don't know if I want to join. Uh, <laughs> it's understandable. He really just wants to pass it. That's all. Um, yeah. <laughs> I want to um I want to bring up something that's nice. So if anyone is listening, um, so uh, the Aussie community has obviously like changed a lot, and there's still people joining. So like it's it's great to see new gamers coming in and you know livening up the place. Um, from bloody pretty, uh, <laughs> nah, I love pretty. Um, let's see. So, but I want people to scroll up and progress reports and just have a look at like who the people are maybe you recognize some names because fuck it's cool scrolling back to like september 2019 and seeing like random kenny like first like dude that's insane you were number one and you were just like raw dog number one like and that was so long ago i don't know if i have progress reports yeah. available it's, to me um isn't it public again yeah it is public is it? yeah because we, we took it off for a while Under and i was thinking about training training yeah. school because uh, yeah. what I want the community to be, like, it, it's just like a driver. So it's like a snapshot in time where, oh, he was the best players. This was the, the top echelon at this moment in time. Because we haven't actually had progress reports for a year. And it's been like, so much stuff has been lost. Like, there was Silent Bang. We, we could have seen Silent Bang creep up this entire year and then, like, fucking explode. Mm. Um so I just love yeah. that that whole like sport and history that the progress reports give to like our gameplay because man, I'm old. <laughs> I'm not grinded anymore. <laughs> but it's cool to look back and see my efforts are not forgotten. <laughs> yeah, it is definitely a massive trip down memory lane scrolling oh, back is. up. Yeah. Seeing so, a bunch of names that aren't around anymore or seeing mm-hmm people that you now recognize just creeping in in those like upper ends of the top 100 and now they're you know comfortably sitting in the top 10 sort of thing like um i mean we can tell a funny story and then we can move out of 2018 range but if you look on the progress reports in september there's like you know some random name around there grinter um, <laughs> oh yeah i was just you know, looking at that yeah. actually kenny do you want to tell it i've talked enough i'm sick of my own voice uh where to start so um i don't know you gotta kind of go back like this is like 2018 so this is so we went to a november tournament it was like early Uh, let's let's start so i think me and bean were the first two people in australia to meet through the uh the server i think i want to say that's right because yeah it was at pax 2018 so like early days right here i was there you were there 
Oh, I don't care. Yeah, what the hell? You're you could have hung out. <laughs> yes. You weren't in the server, <laughs> sorry, mate. So you weren't. <laughs> you didn't have the message not... yet. Yeah. Um, but yeah, so we met up, and then we started uh, getting more gamers in to do like IRL meetups and stuff, and we would switch between like normally Bean's house, but occasionally my house, because uh, I had a nice big uh, room with the Vive OG Vive player, by the way. That thing's heavy. <laughs> <laughs> um, um, but then we started. We found a local VR arcade place that had Beat Saber, and they were doing like. Uh, the top scores of the month or of the season would win like a hundred dollars. And we started doing that. And, uh, I, we got a few of us there. I can't remember, um, that this was when we met Grinter. He randomly rocked up to this, uh, event on the, like the last day as well. Cause that's the pro move. You just rock up on the last day and set the best scores so and no one can beat it. Uh, <laughs> so we rocked up and, by this stage, it was just like November or something, and I was like much better than Bean and man, who else was there? Lamington, Lamington, Lamington I think was maybe there. Generic Nugget, just a, a bunch of the top Aussies were there. Yeah, other than so, Icy, but Icy was yeah, other already, than Icy, Icy was already Icy and yeah, Icy and Savix were like uh, Sydney based, and we're mainly talking about Melbourne at the moment. Um, but yeah, so. Uh, for some reason, I think I had won the, like, the last one, so I decided not to participate in, in this one, because <laughs> I'm like, oh, I'll let some, I'll let one of the other guys win, and then, and they were all Vi, like, you're a Vive player, right, Bean, yeah, back yeah, then? Vive. Vive player, I think Lamington was a Vive player, like, everyone was a Vive player, and Grinta was an OG Rift player, and this VR place only had the, the Vive plus vibe with uh those heavy straps on them oh, like the yeah. covers the oh strap. my god those those were just god awful <laughs> and and he joins the, the this last day rush to get the the high score and he just uh just destroys everyone here i'm like bro yeah, cuz you were like what are you guys doing <laughs> you, you were like not playing so in on paper i was like oh free money Let's go. Yeah. This guy fucking wrecked me. He's like, man, <laughs> what? No. Um, yeah. Yeah, you fucked us up. So then we took him aside and we we're like, man, you're good. And he's like, oh, I just play a lot. So we just said, oh, well, here's the list of score saver ranked maps, which used to be on an Excel doc uh, that was privately shared around um, because score saver, you couldn't just display ranked maps. You would just play a map and look at your profile generated by Steam. Yeah watch the play and if it had pp there you go but if it didn't have pp you didn't actually rank up so we just gave him the list and said go play these maps and then immediately like the december report is like grinter number one by far and it's like oh <laughs> this guy's just the best player in australia by far and we just encountered him at a meetup that was so funny oh yeah I was, it's so funny to, to see the the absolute shoot up he's like the um... yeah. November, it's like he's twenty fifth at like three thousand eight hundred, yeah. and then December, he's like ninth at five thousand seven hundred. It just immediately so shot up. And um, didn't that happen with uh with you, Atomic? You started coming to our meetups, and then we we showed you like the grips, and then you went yeah. from like rank hundred to rank. The first 30. meetup, I discovered that there were more than one group for the live, <laughs> and I immediately shot up to was it uh, top one hundred OCU? yeah that was yeah. a good night <laughs> yeah, but, you, but you were passing like maps that only top 20 players could pass so it's like yeah, it was you, the speed player you had the potential but you just needed a little bit more refinement um and then Danny and Ludacris, like you, you guys were just act players so i don't know what to tell you man i mean i was <laughs> no, <I'm just> <laughs> not <laughs> i wasn't a massive act player originally but definitely later like 2021 i yeah went mm -hmm. the boomer way of becoming an act player as, as one does as one what about does. uh you ludicrous did you yeah have a community moment? i think the way i came in was like up going up through the star ratings back you know for the big five star maps i would oh. just go through the maps but look for the really low nps maps so it turned out to be like the some like tayflume like tech sort of stuff so that's 
like how I sort of got into only playing slow maps and that I was getting like more PP from that than you know like the nine star map I couldn't I couldn't pass because I was on five as well at the time so I couldn't play speed at all so I was, yeah, I was mm -hmm. always on the act side but <sighs> never turned back. What was um so Ludacris and Danny where where did you guys ever like get up to in Australia? I don't actually know. I think for me, I peaked sixth or seventh back. Uh, this probably was towards the end of 2019. And I was in a massive battle with Marv at the time. Mm -hmm. And then I, I think I was, no, I remember because I was crying about Offset. And then yeah. you guys, you, right. you and Marv were battling in top 10. Um, and then I was like, man, Offset. I'm just going to play in practice mode until offset is um actually changed. <laughs> yeah, and I think I think the most annoying thing for me with where I peaked was like at my peak it was like Marv was like probably 10 PP behind me and then like the next 3 people were all within 100 PP. So it was like I had a road forward, I had a really clear path to get top 3. And it just never happened. Rip. Mine wasn't even exciting. I think it was just like in the in the third, like low thirties, like round rank thirty in OC was the mm -hmm. highest I ever got. I made it to made it to three digit global, and then there you go. But you've been watched ever since. Well, you were a, a victim of the ranking, uh, like meta, because you had plays that were top five OC on many like maps. Like I remember when. My purple people either got ranked. It was like, oh, there's fucking ludicrous. I'm rank five Australia. I can't beat this cunt. He's too good. Mm -hmm. um, yeah, I think it was pretty much. Yeah, that was back when the the PP would cap out at like ninety five point five or like yeah, sort of getting above yeah. that didn't really help. So I would get like that score on a lot of those maps that I know was at like seven or eight star maps, and then I just sort of didn't play him anymore. Mm -hmm. Yeah, so like, in a way it was good. But in a way, it's sort of to be honest, you're getting too much PP from those. For some, uh, for some of those players anyway, but yeah. and it's a I lot think, better now. I think kind of also when you were getting close to your peak, you were more solely set down like the path of an AK player and didn't care that much about speed, so you kind of weren't looking at grinding the higher PP maps as much. Yeah, Probably I think yeah, I went from five. of it. Yeah, pretty much. It was like, because I was like, I suppose, relatively speaking, a lot better at ACK. Like, probably true ACK and standard ACK, like on the super low end, like compared to speed coming from being, you know, being an old man. And then going from Vive even to, over to index controllers, I still never really picked up speed all that well. So I just stuck to ACK. And yeah, never really changed. Mm -hmm. So we're all a bunch of gamers. Do you want to talk about some other gamers who are. Uh... Like, like I said, their legacy may have been lost to time at this point, but not quite because we remember. Do you want to go down the list of top OC players and just sort of like recap their their um, reign as like the the goat <laughs> at that time? Yeah, um, I yeah. mean, I guess we can get you and Kenny who were around at the very beginning to start mm -hmm. us off. I guess. I mean, there's oh the first and foremost is Icy, which we briefly talked about. Icy was just the goat and still considered a very good player. Like you can go see Icy's still got some number one scores on some random ass maps to this day, and it's like mm -hmm. how? <laughs> so how did Icy do this in 2018? Icy got when... um got some cracked plays on various maps and got top three global and. Anyone who was in like the pro Discord back in 2018 was like they they knew Icy as like oh they're fucking cracked. They do like double downs really well. They can just play all the shit maps incredibly. Um, that was Icy, and oh my god, it's terrifying. So it was a lot yeah. of like bottom row super complex dreams, right? Because I remember he came back oh, for yeah. a little bit, and I was just watching him. I was like, I can't yeah. like I just can't even read it. I need to say F seeing. <laughs> You know, obviously, with not not the act that the players nowadays have, but just mm -hmm. just F seeing you know the 
all bottom rogue super complex that I can't even reach. Just say crazy just how different the skill set was back then. Triangles, double directionals, fuck dangles. Uh, yeah, exactly. And as long you as it remember, was low end different scoring as well. It was only 110 ac. That's right. Yeah, and ac was much harder. So it was way more punishing, and ac essentially didn't exist. There was just no I such mean, thing as a, as the skill. You didn't really know what ac was. Yeah, like in the same sense that it, the way everyone worries about it today it was mm-hmm. well i believe the there was a um, there were some bugs with like the hit detection and stuff like that that yeah. like essentially caused it to like not be possible to mm. be consistent with it so uh, i don't remember the exact reason for example let's think back let's, let's travel back in time in a in a vacuum um freedom dive one of the top maps oh. back in the day <laughs> you got icy terror slash ruris site slash icy number one australia with what was it like 86 mm. <laughs> that was like what they got 80 and then fucking kenny you were getting like an s with your with your like gloves on the vibe controller oh yeah um, and you were doing we these talk about the gloves fucking later. huge <laughs> swings and like you get you get an s i was struggling as like rank four or five australia to get fucking 71 that took so long oh damn so back in those days that like you you could you know fcing maps was just not a thing um everyone yeah. missed but swings and act just didn't exist <laughs> so it was all just about like passing the map back then it was mm-hmm. very much what i guess more similar to what the challenge community is now where it's just pass it and then act and score is an afterthought yeah mm-hmm Man, so then, we, I, I, we could talk about the maps for so long. Yeah. I know we're supposed to be talking about the, the players. Yeah, but, but I, I just uh, wanted to snapshot. That's what it was like. That's what I see yeah. was cracked at. It was that they could actually hit the notes better than everyone, and they had big swings, and they were just consistent. Um, but then I see kind of stopped playing, and then who took the reins? Uh, that was uh, it was me and Savix that were fighting yeah. uh, to to replace <laughs> replace that spot essentially. Yes, essentially, Sav- and I think that yeah. I got there first. You did, I remember, because yeah. it was like I was watching your stream uh, as I see, or like that, like of the week I see decayed, um, and it mm. was like that's random Kenny number one in Australia, or maybe it was number two, and then the next week you were number one. It was like what number one? Number <laughs> one? And then I you, remember you, you were going to PAX. There was there was a um uh so I got informed by a random person in the top thirty two that there's a there's a secret pro Discord called the Beat Saber Pro Discord. Wow, what a name. Um <laughs> and the only way to get into it is to be the top thirty two uh on a certain time in the month. Right, so like they they send out the invites to the top thirty two at on this specific day, um, and I got messages like I got a message from this guy, and he's like, "Hey, just so you know, that's that's in like eight to twelve hours," and at that time I was like rank thirty five global, so uh, me and Sabex were like right in that range together, and that that little message. I stayed up for like six hours. I was like to up to two a.m. just grinding maps, trying to get to that rank thirty-two, and I managed to get it within like an hour of the invites getting sent out. So I got invited to the Discord, and then two hours later, I dropped down to rank thirty-three. So I just snuck into the Discord. Um, fuck, that's that's crazy. Yeah. So now oh, one I... thing that's funny is so you were rank one and that mm. shows in time as you got it before Savix. But yeah. then you you slowly slipped down a little bit. But Savix actually just went up. Um, yeah, Savix went got better than me and Savix like, straight after that. Was like like leveled up a lot more. And then they were overtaken pretty pretty quickly, weren't they? Because I remember it was It was Savix the Grinter Rise. and Grinter were up there uh but grinta bopped um sabix and was like in the top 30 global um but and Mm. and also like top i think i think he got 20th or something i don't quite remember but sabix 
like held top 32 for a while when Icy was number one and then when Grinto was number one. But Savage wasn't actually top Australia for that long. But they, they, I don't know. It was like mm. they were good. And if they were good at different times, they would have been like number one for three months or something. Yeah. It's like there's like just key mm. points in time where the the spot is just heavily contested and no mm. one holds it for a super um, long time but now let's uh let's creep our way forward in time because there's some other names i wrote out this list so everyone here can mm. see all the names so we'll just literally work our way down um but there was that time when it was uh i think crimson came in in early 2019 um mm. uh so actually it's not in order uh, but crimson came in as number one uh oh no as number number one yeah in january um and then oh where's insprac first shit I'm, I'm out of order so on the progress reports grinta was number one at mm-hmm. the start of january and then uh crimson was number one at the start of february okay and then it was insprac in march February? Uh, February. It doesn't show on the progress reports, but I'm assuming it was between okay. when they get got posted. So who um, actually knows? So uh, we'll, we'll just go with this. So that was um, uh, I remember there was a in my mind a historic meetup at my house in that January. Um, I think Atomic, you missed that, and I remember meeting you, and it was like, oh, you missed like the golden moment when we had rank one and rank two Australia in the same room um and yeah, also, i wasn't there unfortunately yeah. and oh, then yeah. so that was jim and crimson he made the trip here from um i'm not gonna dox him but he was far away um from <laughs> um and then there was also the future uh, another person at that meetup who took number one australia for about an hour um <laughs> or maybe it was half a day so we'll get to that later do you guys know who that is atomic uh danny lucas oh uh, or you can I... guess Oh yeah, okay. I think I do. Hey, who do well, you think? Based on the other names that you haven't said yet. Oh, was it Pink? I don't, no, no. Pink was never um, number one. Pink, yeah. It's pink, so sad, unfortunately, isn't it? never made it. Really? It was like number <laughs> yeah. three, number two for like years, but never made it. We wow. are, of course, talking about Pink Armadillo. You may know him. He's decently well known in the community, the wider community, I reckon. Um, but yeah, never number one, unfortunately. He was a very, very good player, though. Yeah, all the CC highlights clips of Pink were like, what? But on Vive as well. Yeah, the time time like was on insane. Vive. Um, yeah, that guy was fucked. I remember thinking, <laughs> how am I higher rank than this kid? He yeah. is too good. And then I'm, I'm still not. He's still top ten Australia, not playing the game in like two years. I mean, like. His, he played in the World Cup last year and the year before, so first two years of the World Cup. And he, just when he actually put in the effort and practiced the map, god damn he could keep up with top 10 players despite not having played the game for the last three months. He is one very good kid and just mm-hmm. never, unfortunately somehow never made it to number one Australia. <sighs> Some uh, funny little superstars in our midst. Um, all right, well, let, let's. Um, I want to mention these other players, but I don't want to spend too much time on it because they were rank one for like two minutes. So next, after it was Crimson. So Crimson took rank one, and then we'll get mm. back to him later because he takes it again. But it was Indu who came in yeah. <laughs> and got it because I don't know what. I think Crimson was taking a break. Jim was like, "Fucking whatever. I'm gonna go play random tech maps." Um, and then because more like. 2019 20, tech maps by the way not, yeah. not the not this modern shit <laughs> yeah um and then so indu took it for about 30 minutes and then not steve took it who was also there at that january meetup where mm. it was all the top players and i remember yeah, thinking steve. like i looked at that I got to flash back to that day i looked around it was like everyone in the country that can pass milk crown is in this room because <laughs> that was the top map. oh yeah <laughs> and that oh, was milk crown yeah um, okay. And I don't think I could pass Milk Crown at that stage. Or if I did, it was not a very good score. Yeah, nobody could get 
good scores and that like this the map was just too hard for the game it was like ahead of its time um but then moving down the list we had in which is the only new zealand player to take rank one so any new zealand people uh listening that's your representation in this podcast <laughs> the only time <laughs> no. um service to air missile was like pretty incredible forever um oh yeah but whatever we got too many gamers to talk about uh so Insprak was super cracked at like tech maps kind of like jim and then he was so he was like top 50 top 100 for maybe a year and a half or like a year into the game just it felt like that guy was never not repping new zealand um and then like even after he got number one and like going into 2019 to 2021 he held top 10 for quite a while yeah and just, definitely had a lot of good scores on a lot of hard maps the only but, oh sorry yeah you go. yeah but just never got back up there again unfortunately so the only time he actually dropped off was when maps were essentially getting ranked that were harder like villain virus and the puds maps in Sprack couldn't keep up he needed his fucked tech and then he went inactive I, i'm guessing he's like an old as fuck guy um i remember he was saying he like lived in the woods and there was like no internet um strange guy uh, you can tell by his taste in maps um <laughs> but then i reckon let's just mention the next uh, maybe one player and then we can talk about the other players on the next one but we get to the the reign of crimson as i like to call it so this guy if you're listening crimson holy fuck <laughs> um top 30 global top 20 global um for a significant amount of time uh basically just the chattest player in terms of plays and in real life um and just a a huge huge rep basically put australia back on the map after icy uh took their like leave sorry Um, kenny you weren't good enough i really wasn't it was such a shame i i got to 32 and then it was just ever so slightly creeping uh, back down so the leaderboards. what do you guys remember about crimson like ludicrous were you even around for the the reign of crimson no i think when i joined was sort of when zavard started to take over so i i never mm-hmm. saw anything from crimson that was too early for me okay what about you other guys yeah when i joined crimson was number one i think or got it like within a few weeks of when i joined and then yeah i did not see him even remotely close to losing number one for like the next year and a half or whatever Mm -hmm. just a monstrous player monstrous uh, personality in fact i might just i might just plug so this we're on the oc channel right now i actually did an interview with crimson back when he was like the rank one like solid solidly um and then he did get bopped a few times throughout his like reign but he was still always like the goat i mean that's a whole nother story yeah. to get into yeah we're, we're not gonna <laughs> ramble on um like we'll save that for episode one because this is episode zero yeah. but uh just like it's funny how ludicrous like i feel like you're old not just in real life but also you've been around for a while but you missed the the crimson rain like what i didn't even know that fuck like probably yeah, there was a lot of stuff a lot of history yeah. that I, I like over the over the years i guess you've told me about yeah, people like savix that i didn't even know existed until you told me but mm. i know crimson was i think when i first joined oc i went back and looked at like the previous tournament and it was one that crimson mm-hmm. crimson won and i think might have been one like against Savard even in the final if i remember correctly mm. but that tournament was yeah. not long before i joined so i sort of saw crimson had just beaten Savard, but then yeah, when i joined Savard was pretty comfortably number one at the time mm-hmm. i i would be interested to know because like for me crimson feels like the longest reigning number one australian uh i but think I, that's i don't know if that's right anymore but that's just the way i still feel so about it if um if creeper and epic moon and silent bang didn't have their own little periods i think it wouldn't be um because epic moon was number one for a while but yeah i i think crimson i mean he would hold it. in fact Zavard was um number one for quite a while as well that's yeah true. almost a year i think yeah we Until could um, like yeah. November, we december that. we should uh so 
we could go over progress reports and probably graph it up until start of 2022 or end of 2021. Um, and then I, it'd be fun to track that. Yeah. Just to see who it was because um, at the moment, like this year's, it was Creeper for a while and Epic Moo and Silent Bang. And then the year before it was Epic Moo and Creeper, but mostly Epic Moo. The year before that was like Zavard. And the year before that was Crimson. <laughs> Actually, so, yeah. you, you know Creeper what might be out. better to go back through? It'll be more of a hassle, but mm. rank feed. Oh. Because that'll show all the, like, yeah, back when uh, Silver Hazer's bot was doing the individual ranks. Yeah. Like, whenever people would get the roll, uh, the rocker bot would come in as well. And so, yeah, there's... Yeah. So rank that's... Feed high. Because that, that'll capture all those, like micro battles that happen over the course of like two days where mm. it swaps three times i'm, I'm putting my money on creeper <coughs> be, yeah overall yep. yeah that's a good bet um he's been like world cup 2020 yeah. was when he came in and he was like already number three he just didn't have a pc yet that's true and like yeah. since then most of the time i think it's been him for that's two years two and a half years and then I reckon he's got thing. Like more than half of that. Shit, you're right. Yeah, maybe it is Creeper. That's more yeah. modern modern time. Um, and I'm not too familiar because I've been in and out of activity and life. Um, but if anyone else does know, the Creeper, if you're listening, comment how long or t- type in like the general server. Um, how long you've been ranked one? We want to know because we're hoping you track that. Um, yeah. I will work it out for episode one. Yeah, episode one, whatever. We'll 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 have some cool stats to show. Um, all right, any other topics people want to mention while we're like, while we're right here? Oh, I I think I we gotta we gotta call out the actual the actual OG Australian that hopefully everyone knows, and that is the man, the myth, the legend that is Freak, oh. the man from Western Australia. I don't dox it. <laughs> he doesn't live there anymore. Yeah, yeah. You... <laughs> but if you don't know, Freak was the first... He made the first big map, which was the Through the Fire and the Flames, a, a classic, and it had to be made. Mm-hmm. Someone had to make it, and it was Freak. And because of that and a lot of his other songs, he actually got noticed by Beat Games and became their official... Uh, head of level creation, I think, uh, yeah. and has been working for them for over four years now, and is like the head, head, the head of that whole thing, which is sick. I mean, even before all of that, like he did, a, he pumped out a lot of maps mm. in the short time he was active mapping. Like, there's a lot of going back through, like especially the Beat Saver, most liked. I don't know if it's changed recently. But a lot of that stuff was covered with freak maps. Oh, yeah. He saw the game, he liked it, and wanted to make stuff for it. Good guy. Met him quite a few times, mainly at PAX. Yeah. <laughs> mm-hmm. He's a friendly chap. Um, he is very Through the friendly. Fire and the Flames, man. I didn't call him that when we saw him at 2022 PAX. I completely forgot, so <laughs> I'm going to have to say it next year. He, he didn't get us trying to sing Halo in a bathroom this year, though. No, he didn't. 2019, that, that's what his uh, goal was. <laughs> but yeah, I, I remember since this was like 2018, it was, this is like, so what, game came out in May, I want to say, 2018? Yeah, May. May. I picked up the game like just slightly a month after, and... I oh man, when did that map come out? It, it, what code is it? It must be super early. Surely um, like I'll, a two I'll, or I'll five look it up. flames. Yeah. Uh, twenty five F, I think. No, no, not twenty five F. That's oh, that's I'm the going, other one. That's, that's the, the other one. one. Yeah, I'm <laughs> that's the one you guys speak of. Yeah. <laughs> but no, the um, up yeah, um. Through the Fire and the Flames was the first song that I felt just absolutely incredible 
about it. It, it like was like a gateway drug okay. to Beat Saber. Kenny, <laughs> I want you to guess what date through through the fire and the flames was uploaded. Oh, dude, it'd probably be like within the first week of so. Like I want to say like May twenty ninth, May eleventh. Oh, yeah. And okay. the and game I... came out on May sixth, I believe, if I can remember correctly. Yeah, so he was on it. Like, yeah. Gee, damn. And that was such a hard song. Mm-hmm. Yeah, I remember yeah, grinding so it. E- yeah, even grinding that like shit. six months after the game came out, that was still such a hard song and still only like a handful of people had kind of passed it at that time. Oh, yeah. Where were I... you where, when you passed Through the Fire and the Flames for the first time? Like, do you remember? Oh, yeah, dude. I remember. I remember I was right right in the other room over there with my Vive sweating my balls off because it was uh oh my God. It, was, it was only winter so it wasn't that bad but you know no one knew how to play Beat Saber um, properly so everyone sweated yeah. like crazy so I'm curious Mr. Ludacris and Danny and Atamic you guys started playing a good year after me and Kenny was was Through the Fire and the Flames still like Whoa, that's the first, that, that's my gateway into like custom songs. I've never played it. <laughs> what? <laughs> Not a real It's a tech nap. A tech nap. I was too busy playing reality check. <laughs> that's fair. That's the yeah. other one. That was yeah. the next yeah. one. I think it's probably a reality check, and it was like also the really popular pop song. The like pop song, like Believe It, was like just everywhere. That's yeah. what I came in. Yeah. I was like, yeah. That's not the gateway into the faster stuff, but that's like that's you, know, you go to the Beat Saber download. It's like a oh, Gangnam Style with a shitty dance map. And hey, that's that's map is still insane. I showed it to someone because I still show people Beat Saber every now and then. I'm like, play fucking Gangnam Style by Grey Yazer. This yeah, is that's sick. Someone. But no, TT, yeah, no. it's TTFF's Aussie map. I think that's amazing. The the thing for me was like. Um, I actually bought the game, I think, all of five days after release. But I just <laughs> never got around to figuring out what all this rank stuff was until, you know, half a year later. Mm-hmm. That's but a pretty so normal no, thing. Uh, Through the Fire and Flames was definitely one of the first maps, like custom maps I downloaded because it was everyone downloaded it. So it was at the top of Beat Saver. No one could pass it, but it was at the top of Beat Saver on downloads. And it was the thing that, like, after two weeks of grinding, I finally passed, like, the 30-second intro. I felt amazing. And, yeah, as Kenny said, it was the gateway drug Mm -hmm. into faster maps and more complex stuff and actually, yeah, just more Beat Saber in general. Um, yeah. were, there, were there any other Aussies at that time or like if we work our way back then because I want to think about how Aussies affected the Beat Saber landscape so we had I can definitely tell yeah. you I mean because I, I want to say that Australia has a very well known mapping style that is being ship hosty Whoa. Would you would would you guys agree, mm. or is that? Hey, oh, have we moved on past that? I, I really uh, don't know what the modern uh, landscape is for us. Mo- mo- modern now, so I'm not sure if that applies, but definitely like 2019. Yes. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Well, I remember. 20, I remember. I, between... I feel like I'm responsible for that. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I think it was like between you and Marv, and mostly Marv. Hey man, what like... about what about I'm gay? Yeah. And, uh, see, yeah. So I, I, uh, see, I still for have me mostly it's so. the Marv uh, AC one Matt tennis <gasps> the ones tennis as well. One, yeah. Did the whole know. like series on those and the AC one thirty. That hey. that was my golden era of yep. OCE wow. and you Australia right. maps. I think Marv Marv's AC one thirty actually like rocked the entire world. <laughs> Because that was bang on. Mapping extensions existed. And then Marv just like had the most genius idea <laughs> of his life. I think that's where he peaked, honestly. <laughs> like, and I, that's no shade to anything else he's done. It's just that good. Um, can, I, can I run you through how I think everything evolved from a singular event? 
Um, you can give us your theory, and then we'll we'll let you know if we agree. We'll, this we'll is early that. because this 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 I'm pretty sure this inspired your I'm Gay map, uh, mm-hmm. and everything because that's that was one of the earliest ones that I can recall yep. of an Australian shit post. Um, but essentially, in the pro Discord, Rog Dude, you might know him, good player, good mapper. Uh, he was looking for something to map, uh, and I sent him this audio file. Uh, I'm like, you, can you map this? And he's like, sure. And then he spent like a couple of hours on it. And um, he he made this map. And it's of one of my favorite YouTubers that doesn't make content anymore called Demolition D. And, and it's just his roommate screaming. And, and he put like all these doubles and everything like that. And it was just such a fucked up map. And I thought it was amazing. And then as a result of that, he, he put like what we call Lolope notes now because Lolope if you don't know him either, he's like the one that inspired that, that note type. Um, then I made my map, uh, True Blue Aussie, with those notes, right? Yeah. Because I'm like, those those are so funny. <laughs> then you just hit these random ass patterns by oh. doing, you just save it sideways. Could I just um, then, interject with one more piece yeah. of context? So back in when you were doing this 20, end of 2018, early 2019, mm. mapping was extremely different you had ranked maps which were only just starting the hex era um oh yeah and essentially there was just not many mappers that existed so maps were rare beat saver had maybe one to five maps a day um so like if there was a map worth playing everyone played it because there wasn't much so all of australia was like oh true blue was he continue yeah, so so I mapped True Blue Aussie. This was in I've I've only mapped like four maps to be honest, and uh, three of them are shit posts. Um, but True Blue Aussie was my first and greatest, and uh, so I mapped that because I saw Rog Dude's version of the the map. I suggested he do the audio uh, the audio for. I'm like, this is so good. And then I'm pretty sure, Bean, you saw my map and you're like, this is fucking sick. And then you made the I'm gay map. Yeah, yeah. Is that right? Yeah, that was in February. I did that. Yeah. And I think that's where it, it like, it spiraled from there. And then, like, I think everyone in the community is like, oh, my God, that's that's so funny. And then all the maps, like, the, the, the Wii series and all that kind of stuff mm-hmm. just flowed from there. I, um... I mean, I was, I was there, but I can say, yeah, that's um, that, that's what happened <laughs> for me. Ah, <laughs> oh, dude, the way Beat Saber notes get hit is just mm-hmm. so scuffed and so, so so amazing. Back in those days, you'd have a lot more competition on shit post maps because the ranked pool was tiny and it was updated every few months but everybody fucking loved the game everyone was so addicted they just looked for anything to play so that's just where the attention went it'd be like okay well the top ranked map is daisuke and i don't want to play that so <laughs> what's this shit post map oh this is funny i got a 60 percent. i'm just glad i passed like shit yeah. post maps do have a weird charm to them that are stupidly fun to grind for as shit as they are to play as the name uh, implies yeah you'll be like oh 20 seconds oh 16 seconds That's yeah good. give that a try you'll be like damn all right spend another 20 seconds on it <laughs> R- mm-hmm. rinse repeat and then all of a sudden three hours have gone past and it's like that was fun yeah, and you're like, damn, I finally beat it. <laughs> beat this 20 second, took me three hours to beat a 20 second map. Let's go. That was a good day, productive day. I fucking <laughs> grinded out this score. Um, I wanted to think about if you if you don't mind if we change cheeky topic. Um, uh, we'll just shift it a little bit. So, what was the first Aussie ranked map? Like, I think I know what it is, but I'm just gonna put the question out there. Um, the first Aussie rank map after like Downy Cat and Freak had their like PPV one stuff. I I don't know what it was, but I feel like it has to be one of your maps, Bean. It definitely wasn't. Yeah, no, I don't think it would have been Bean. So I uh, think I've... it was Marv's Paddle Roo. 
Uh, the one minute one, because I remember we were celebrating in OC general. Um, that sounds right now. Yeah. Because getting, I had a feeling it would be Marv. Okay. Yeah. okay. Yeah. No, I, I know why I didn't think of that map because I've just erased the memory of that map from my mind. It's uh, not a good map. So that's, that's <laughs> a good thing to erase, but still it's yeah. history and we love Marv and Zeros. So, um, <laughs> no, Marv was yeah. like one of the, one of, I think probably our biggest mapper back in the day. Oh yeah, for sure. Yeah. And, like biggest in terms of actually getting up and coming projects done, not just like the legacy of Freak and Downy Cat. Yeah. Mm. And yeah, he was on the grind. He like got, so getting maps ranked took, you know, three, four months and back in those days that was like half of beat saber's life so it'd be like what do you what? mean it'll take three to four months yeah but nowadays it's like <laughs> we've been around we've been around the block so long we're used to it but it was like okay the game's been out for six months i want to get a ra- ranked map i have to wait another th- but i've only been playing the game for like half that time anyway um and then stuff would get denied and if it would get denied the ranking team would shift their efforts it was way more exclusive so just like huge win for the aussies when marv got his foot in the door and like because it was very exclusive um and then yeah, let's see so he made like pad order and k-pop maps and zeros had i wrote it here that map with Al- altruin don't remember the name uh it's like a nine it was like a nine star or eight star oh um current hey kids i think no not that one it's like kodoku in that that Kodoku, yeah. yeah and then it was me which you know you can say my contributions are questionable and you'd be right but i was there very question very questionable <laughs> but now we got more gamers coming in we got i wrote it all here do you guys want to read down the list what the new gamers yeah, new Aussie mappers coming in because we're like we're still growing. We got more impact hitting like hitting people. I don't know. You These don't know? modern day maps aren't uh, aren't really for me. <laughs> yes, <Yeah, same. laughs> I mean I'm liking epic moves stuff. Um, purple stuff is uh, interesting, <laughs> um, and like I actually I, I got a so I edited one of the. So one of the other Aussie mappers, Umaruk, I edited their map um, and got that ranked. So it's like two Aussies on the same map as like an expert plus. It's like that's that's Aussie representation. Woo! Um, and it just feels like you know we've done something in the world. Yeah, I think you you Bean still have some of the best like fun ranked maps. Uh, Purple People like, Eater, that's... such a good map. Yeah, dude, yeah. I recommend Purple People Eater to like very new players as well. And it still has like a what's the highest highest star on that? I can't remember with the changes um, and stuff. Six point nine. Yeah, yeah. it's oh, it's it undervalued. Like it should be slightly higher. Yeah, yeah it should be higher. I mean, so when it when the new ranking system came out, uh, it was nerfed because it had so mm. many so many plays the ai was like oh everyone's got such insane scores on this because it was the most grinded because map it was fun of 2021 yeah, fun. you got you got punished for having a fun map yep <laughs> i did but i mean a... you also ended up winning one of the beast saber awards or whatever yeah, for that didn't you i got two of them for that map Ooh. yeah so that's so, like I, I think i'm the only aussie to have won any which feels pretty nice but yeah uh, there's not a whole lot of awards really so yeah, yeah it kind of just feels like right place right time i got lucky accident so yeah that's, that's just sort of like oh cool you know got something out there that people enjoyed um did um I mean, battle sirens come after purple people leader yeah yeah way after yeah oh wait not not way after yeah, battle sirens was first was it Oh so. no! I know why. It's because I mathed purple people either like a year or six to eight months before I actually got it ranked. That's why. Yeah. Mm-hmm. No, it, oh yeah. I because I had like a whip that I hadn't finished. Like I remember Kenny talking to you 
about making like a six lane or eight lane purple people eater where you got to run and yeah. like hit mm-hmm. sliders and like run run and like hit big sliders and then it turned into the map it is today um oh dude can we talk about the shenanigans we we got up to in like 2019 with the quest and the the yeah, map yeah, extension okay. we'll, we'll we'll talk about that and then we'll wrap it up that'll be like a good close off topic for episode uh, zero i do have to say i'm kind of sad that like there's no more of that because that was yeah. too much fun i've just, like what i've got it? a quest two I-, I want to be able to do mapping extensions i don't even know how uh, up and down 16 lane was it oh I think? yeah the one uh, that's the one we had at oh our my pack God. That's, that's the one that went really big yeah because so yeah 2019 was the year of uh mapping extensions we didn't quite get to noodle Mm -hmm. extensions yet mapping extensions i do have something that is um quite the funny relic of the past um i want to mention and kenny you'll remember this so if everybody wants to just play join along in the um the funny memories go to joe tastic's like beat saver or find a joe tastic map called (laughs) the the pacer test um, <laughs> uh, fitness grand pacer test now that was a map where i remember going outside to like a i live next to a school um and i would run around the, the astroturf court and do the the beep test in beat saber and kenny you and i grinded for like battling the the scores on that i remember yeah. you, i couldn't i really couldn't beat you and then one day i tr- i did it like three times and i actually fucking beat you and then mapping extensions was murdered quest modding was murdered i'm still number one on there fat fins 69 lives i i swear to god if i boot up my quest one i have a higher score than you it's just (laughs) i have to go to a fucking park where i couldn't upload my scores hotspot your phone that's what i did you dummy no it wouldn't wouldn't work stupid fucking score saber (laughs) oh no because score saber got disabled as well for the quest yeah that's what it was like mapping extension still worked but you couldn't upload any scores yeah dude i yeah. i remember i so, went to a park near me just 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 i'm gonna it wasn't, it wasn't it. a very flat park either <laughs> and i just fucking headset on probably a bunch of people looking at me being weird as fuck in the middle of a park <laughs> I had no friends like spotting me or anything like Honestly, that. Why is he can't see out of? <laughs> yeah. Um, yeah, I, I, I linked it in the in the podcast chat. I'm still rank one, Kenny. Get fucked. <laughs> I'm still happy that uh, I have a good I have a good video of um the up and down 16 lane. And, you got um, that on Cube Community, didn't you? Yeah, yeah. yeah. It was like one of the first ones because I got like. like a, Oh we yeah, you did. The, yeah, everyone should go with, like, watch the that. Phone, uh, yeah, you yeah, had the, I the webcam. Tripod. I set up a little tripod oh, with a camera yeah. on it, and I filmed See? myself doing it. Yeah, that's uh, uh, I think that drive that's Aussie what moment. Really sold it as well. Was seeing you physically run up and down your driveway while yeah. watching you play <laughs> the map as well. I want to go. It was watch like that the now. only room. It was like the <laughs> only room I had that, that there's there is another spot that I found later when I did the pacer test that I, I I could do the pacer test. Um but that was the only one that I felt comfortable with. Um mm. with actually doing focusing on the map because the pacer test you don't have to focus on the notes. You kind of just up and yeah. down. Point, up and down yeah. was actually you could kind of like up and down you is could a look, good map and then yeah. just added sixteen lanes or whatever. Yeah. And you can see in the video if you go to it that um, the biggest problem is how you do, you don't know how far forward or backwards you've adjusted. Mm. So you'll see that I came up with a method of putting my foot on the back of the wall to sort of like get a bearing to how far <laughs> away from it I was. Mm-hmm. <laughs> and that was the only way I, I could like do it. I, I stuffed it up like two or three times beforehand. <laughs> Yeah, like I remember PAX 2019, we set up our own unofficial Beat Saber booth or something where like three or four of us had brought our own quests mm. and we sectioned off a corner of the hall essentially or yeah, just, just outside just the took, hall. We mm-hmm. took the end. Yeah, we, we just took the middle area. Took, we took the end and there was a nice like long strip of Yeah, it was like 20 carpet. square metres probably. 
where we got so many people to play up and down and the amount of people that like walked backwards into the wall walked <laughs> forward like so, we, we we did have plenty of room but the the amount of times people would screw it up or yeah it was yeah, there's there's no reference points in the in-game yeah. environment yeah you have it, it doesn't no expect idea. you to move it doesn't expect you to be the, moving left and right, notes, let alone back uh, and forward. The notes are yeah. like coded to your headset, like yeah. distance wise. So if you step two meters forward, the notes are still going to come at you like normal. You just keep going. Yeah. So you, yeah. you're only paying attention to where where you are left and right, and you still always feel like you're going to run into a wall, even when you know there's no walls. Yeah. Then you have people shouting like, "No, oh, get back! Come back! Come back!" <laughs> And then just like all the other random people that were there at PAX, just like, why are there 20 people standing around watching this one guy run side to side, waving his uh, arms yeah. around like an idiot? Yeah, we did, we did have, I think, like uh, some of our phones, whoever's quest it was, like showing the, yeah. the, the map as well. So a few of us got to watch. <laughs> but oh, man, that mm. was that was like one of the best times, yeah. I reckon. I um, remember posting like one or two Twitter videos playing uh, like the gas, 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 10 lane, uh, like sped up. And I remember talking to, I think it was Freak in 2019 PAX. And he said that they watched that at Beat Games, like in the studio, (laughs) because the the guy who made Beat Saber followed me after I posted that. And he was like, yeah, like we were watching you play at beat games and i was like actually just blown away i was, I'm still can't get over it to be honest that was like they watched me play their game yeah, oh you've my been God. recognized yeah it just feels amazing but i was like that was so cool like it and it burst directly from that magical time of like oh kenny you had your cool cc video um and oh god yeah that was so much shit oh, <sighs> I yeah, because then quick, quick tangent. I can't believe that before that we we had actually gone skiing as well. Ben. I can't believe that was twenty nineteen. Anyway. Oh god, yeah, I thought that was. Later. Yeah, <laughs> yeah, I thought that was later too. I was trying to see if I could find any videos of uh, that time at PAX. Mm-hmm. Um, I know there was uh, the video of Hey Falcon. I think that was on someone's Twitter, um, of him just like almost falling over, or maybe it was on his <laughs> Twitter. I think I've still got a few videos of some people playing it. Yeah, I don't think I took any videos. Probably because I had my phone. Yeah, it, it was your phone that was the display. I remember that. Uh, damn. Mm-hmm. Um, Atamic, were you oh. there when we were doing the, when we had those meetups where we'd like go outside and play Quest? I think you were. Yep, I remember going to that school and playing that Sonic map. <laughs> yeah, oh, my green Sonic zone, map! Whatever. Yes! Was it was Green Hill Zone? Like, yeah, yeah that's it, was it. For, it was 40 lanes. Yeah. yeah. And yeah. I remember running and, like, nearly hitting a wall. It was... Yeah, so <laughs> great. I... For those who, for those who don't know, I had this I had this Sonic map that starts normal, and then it has, like... So the first few notes you got to hit, and then because this was right after all that time, we just explained, like, oh crazy mapping extensions so it'd be like and then sonic music would play but there's no notes you have to run 40 lanes to the left and hit <laughs> the incoming wall of notes that insta kill you if you don't run 40 <laughs> lanes um and so while we were running you're hearing the sonic music and it's just so stupid <laughs> just so um, you make it feel like sonic you're just like i gotta go fast yeah. i gotta go fast and i think I have a video of it somewhere, maybe on my Twitter. There is. I'm sure there's a video of it. Um, I'm sure, sure there are, there's a video I'll, and some pictures in the meetups channel. Now I just yeah, I, I, so I've seen a video of it somewhere, so it must exist. I think I posted like a whip video of it because I was mapping it and I was like, lol, look at this dumb shit. That's funny. Ah, uh, oh, dude. Okay, how are we going for I'm starting to out on it now. Oh, shit. Yeah. yeah. Well, should have should have started earlier. I mean, you were here for all the World Cup stuff and yeah. some of the tournaments. Like, we can go over that on episode yeah, one because I think you want to wrap up episode zero, or is there anything else people want to talk about while we're all here? Uh, there's, I, I, I do want to say 
the 90 running in the 90 lanes oh I, yes i believe that was mapped by Turge, who is yes. also australian it was so, commissioned by Turge, mapped by yeah Turkaster. commission right, that's what yeah. it was yeah um Turge commissioned it yep um but he brought and that it one line. i yeah i remember going to the park for that one and that one's also on cube community as well but no webcam yeah. i remember running into a like maybe five foot high thin tree while playing that map <laughs> in public <laughs> and i was just so humiliated i walked home um, <laughs> oh, so stupid um all right, so anyone else got a little, little funny topics? Or let's uh, let's maybe wrap it up. It's getting a bit late. I'm tired. Yeah. I feel, yeah, like, Toge, I feel like Toge is like a... Like, he's a very... He's kind of like very big in the mixed reality scene for mm-hmm. Beat Saber. Yeah. He has like crazy setup. I wish we, we probably could have talked about him a bit because he's a cool dude. Yeah, he's got um, one of those like crazy setups with the garage. That, yeah, he gets and, like uh, he K like Falcon Yeah, kind of pretty, pretty much in that mixed reality space as well. And that um, there's a few people. The girl player from Australia, Nancy, Nancy, Na- yeah. Nancy, 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 yeah, yeah. Nancy. yeah. I, I forget how to say it. Oh, um, but yeah, they yeah. they do a lot of the stuff. I'm pretty sure Toge's like little setup gets hired out to do a bunch of these things uh Ooh. for like big ad shoots oh, as well yeah he has that amazing video playing the 10 lane with like the the yeah. moving camera and like the uh um, because he, he he puts the vr sensor on his irl camera and then can actually move it around yeah, yeah. that's that was the first time he i've makes, seen that and it fucking nuts he makes some sick content i gotta say i kind of wanted to bring it up because the, the content he's making yeah, is yeah. actually super sick and i feel like just doesn't get the the love it deserves I mean, yeah, it's, it's beat save. Beat save is pretty smart. I think, I mean, going on a slight tangent off from beat saber, but I think Toge and Falcon had a collab where they did a mixed reality uh, pistol whip thing, where they both got like full in suits and did the whole pistol whip thing yeah. around the time that came out. And god damn, mm. the production quality on the stuff they do is yeah insane yeah it it's like it flies under the radar and it the quality it, it deserves more it really does yeah but yeah i want to bring him up quick because mm-hmm. yeah no, they, thank they're, you. they're they they're like 2018 they're, guys as well yeah they're, they're like, like way back i remember hey falcon used to be like top 20 <laughs> and then he was yeah, like i saw falcon <laughs> yeah it's just at, funny. Uh, I saw Falcon at PAX this year, so, you know, he's oh, still I around. I didn't see him this year. I I, I remember um, I invited him to the OC server. <laughs> oh, man, Apparently we didn't I'm... even mention Freddy. Oh, God. <laughs> do, we, do we want to mention Freddy? <laughs> oh, I mentioned Freddy. Yeah, I know you mentioned him, but we don't really, like, mention yeah. who he was. We, we met Freddy the same day we met Grinta. Yeah, yeah. And he's still around, kicking. So that's yeah. funny. Oh, he man. still hasn't died yet. It's kind of weird. Yeah, I don't know how. He's so old. <laughs> yeah, God. Can you hurry up? <laughs> okay, now we're just bullying. Um, <laughs> I'm gonna, uh, bullying old man. Thanks for, for chilling, any Aussies. So I want to just go over it real quick. So this is episode zero of the Oceania Beat Saber podcast. Um, we're just putting this on the OC server. I'm... I don't think we need to promote it anywhere outside of the OC server. Um, but if you know any Aussies who aren't in the server, get them here, send them, send them this video. You can learn about the history while you're on the train. <laughs> okay. You can put this on the YouTube. Oh, yeah. It'll be on YouTube. Yeah. Uh, I don't know if I'm bothered Even to put it on Spotify. If you want it on Spotify and you're Aussie, let me know. I can make it happen. But at the moment, it's not on Spotify. So... <laughs> On the YouTube. Follow the, the YouTube. YouTube. All right. YouTube. See ya. I'm gonna I'm gonna wrap it up. You can always top and tail it. <laughs>